Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Steam World Quest. Today we are moving out of chapter six and heading to wherever we gotta go next. It looks like act two, very cool. Chapter seven, at the college gate. Our curious crew briskly follows the trail pointing towards the noble college of alchemy. Very awesome, so let's move into this chapter. Chapter seven, at the college gate. So yeah, we learned that last episode that the guild is full of jerks and they don't want to credit us for saving them. But now we got to go to the college to see what's going on with the possibly corrupted alchemists. That was a brisk walk. Oh, here he comes. I <laughs> guess they're not as quick. A little too brisk for my way, my taste. We're almost there. The college gate is just up ahead. All right, well, let's keep going. Um, it looks like we do have a shop over this way as well. And look, the merchant's already here. Well, following you is good for business, just like following vultures is to, to a fresh cadaver. Forget how I did her voice. Uh, so let's see what she has available. No weapons, unfortunately. I mean, I would love to buy some revive kits, but man, are they so expensive. They are super duper expensive. I would like to buy one more, but I can maybe wait until later. There's nothing really must have from you there. Um, oh, we can upgrade cards now. Tutorial, upgrading cards. From the upgrade card screen, you can improve cards by spending materials. Materials are typically found as rewards for defeating enemies in the wild. Wait, what? I wasn't done. Why, why did I just go through that twice? I mean, I'm guessing it's pretty simple. We can improve different cards, and that's really tempting. I'm trying to think about like what would be the best thing to improve. I'm thinking definitely mana barrier would be a good one. Like defensive spells, I feel like, need more upgrading than anything else. Uh, definitely lots of options. I mean, I would love to also upgrade Cyclone Slash, but I don't have Golden Lotus. Interesting. Let's focus for now on something like, if we wanna, we don't have enough scroll fragments. Let's just focus on more basic things like this. The problem is it takes up a lot of resources. So like, we'll do one, because that's definitely like a big jump, right? I mean, actually, I don't know how much it'll give. It doesn't really tell you, you just sort of have to give it a shot. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'll see how it goes. Uh, moving over this way, I wouldn't mind upgrading something like Heroic Strike, because it's pretty cheap compared to some of the other things. I can't really afford to upgrade most of the other stuff, so let me go ahead and do that. And then, once again, Cyclone Slash, I can't afford anytime soon. We don't, we're out of scroll fragments for it anyways. We can still craft cards. It doesn't look like there's anything new. Well, good to check it out. All right, very interesting. I definitely think we need to sit down and figure some other stuff out, but in the meantime, I think that our active party, we can change it up a little bit and do that. So let's get to it, let's start this act, hopefully well, I'm not sure. I, I'm not usually very good at this game. I'm sure you guys have gathered at this point, but I'm trying my best. Ooh, what's here, this is the gate. Ah, the route, wrought iron of a properly gated community. And a big, sturdy, and deviously glowing locked. Bravo! What? The college gate was never locked. Neighborhood gone rough, perhaps? Sure looks like someone put a jinx on it. Oh, I don't think that worked. Yeah, it won't budge. This, this is insane. The public were always free to have a walk in the park to get inspired by the creative atmosphere or Hey, Muttonheads, you done any time sooner? Should we get popcorn? Who was that? Huh? Who, who said that? Point your papers up here. Oh my. We were just gonna pry for cool stuff when we heard your ruckus. Um, hello? Accomplice. So gate crasher and accomplice. That's our current names. Didn't expect much, but turns out you're quite entertaining. Pry for cool. Are you perhaps here to steal? <laughs> it's only stealing if you get caught. H how did you even get in? <laughs> we bought a strange Jimmy root from a druid back home and used it on the lock. <laughs> nice of you to close it behind you. <laughs> oh, as much as I'd love to stay in Yak, there are plenty of rich college kids here ready for picking. <laughs> Toodaloo. Oh. Um, bye. <laughs> These two are cute but devious. Interesting. 
Are they like our new enemy? I don't know. I see now uh, how the need for a jinx lock might have arisen. God, the nerve to steal from a school, my school. Face it, that pompous place has lots and lots of theft prone stuff. I didn't hear that. Hey, maybe we could try something from the hero's handbook. Come on, Galio, toss me. What am I, a catapult? Jeez, it's summer camp all over again. <laughs> a catapult, that's even more brilliant. Those big strange trees we saw on our way here sure look sturdy enough for. Those trees were once planted by college founders, I and I'm not cutting them down to build a catapult. Unlike some of us, I'd rather use my head for thinking than you as a projectile. Now, to tackle the lock, those gate crashers talked about a jimmy root. I usually don't concern myself with this druid mumbo jumbo, but word has it that an infamous alchemist snatched a root sapling from the druids and planted it deep inside the astray woods, an overgrown part of the original park. It can only be used once, but supposedly unlocks anything even jinxed, hexter, or otherwise enhanced contraptions. That sounds super practical. How come we people don't use them like all the time? Besides the root being extremely rare, you mean? The only non-druids knowing about this are all alchemists. And they'd rather sit in their comfy labs than get lost in a perilous forest. Right now, I see it as our only option. Smashing, then the game is afoot. I like how he's sort of just chilling out. He's just along for the ride. I still think a catapult would have worked. It would have, just nobody wants to do it. Alrighty, well let's move to the right and see what we can get done in this overgrown forest apparently. So we can go down and beat up that bush. Nothing else to the right, okay. Trying to make sure I find everything. Oh, a little sign. The dark frost mountain ridge, treacherous and inhospitable, but at the same time serene and majestic. Wow, it's like the horizon is calling for us. Don't get too close to the edge. What happens if I do? One of the perks of this place was definitely the inspiring surroundings. So I can't actually jump off or anything, okay. Uh, and what's over this way? We got some bushes we can beat up, but nothing too much beyond that. Now right, let's go down this way. Uh, nothing too much over here, but there is something happening. There's a little exclamation mark on the map. Oh, big tree. Lots of big trees, actually. I don't really see too much going on here except for the bushes to beat up. We can go down. What's with the exclamation mark? Is there something I should be able to do here? I mean, I can leave. This is the entrance to Astray Woods. We need to stay alert and be wary of which path we follow. I don't know how many times I've gotten lost and ended up right back here. Well, if you if you ended up back here, at least you're not truly lost. You can find the exit again or the entrance. I guess that's a problem. Okay, as you can see, that's wrong. But if it's the same every time, that'll make things easier. Aha, so finding everything in this level is gonna be tough. Ooh, look at this. What's this, a sketch of a butterfly? Well, there are a lot of sketchy butterflies around here. Huh, so we gotta look out for blue butterflies. We get magic mirror for Copernica, allows Copernica to counter fire, frost, and storm attacks done to her with the same element for three turns. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, nothing too much more here. So we just gotta watch out for blue butterflies, ow. Uh, I was hoping I could get a good start there, but I guess I won't. That's fine. Uh, for right now, just trying to mix some stuff up. I guess this is the best I can do. And we'll do brain freeze on these guys, or should we do like fixer? Let's do fixer for now. Let's earn up some gears. Wait, that's sort of getting us in a, in a bit of a stuck place, anyways. Yeah, we'll try to do more gear focused combat here with um. Oh, did that that paralyze you, man? The attacks are definitely a lot worse now. Here it is, awesome. So I'm gonna get shields up out of here. Here we go, heroic strike. I will do. I man, I would love to do brave buster right now too. I don't even know what I'm doing this to. Maybe I should actually take a look real fast. What are you weak to? You're weak to electricity, but you're very defensive against frost and physical. You're just weak to electricity, and same thing with this guy. So we'll do that, and we'll do this. Okay. 
All right, that works for me. Nice, okay. Oh, almost got that guy taken out. We got the buzzing storm coming in, but that's fine. Oh, there's two of them. And moisturize, weird. So was it that he's weak or strong against Frost? He's strong against Frost, okay. Not really too much I can do about it at the moment. I think I just wanna cycle this guy out of here, get the focus on there, and do that. That way we were sort of a bit more set up for next turn. There we go, that guy's gone. Got the focus, got the arcade detective. Building up those gears is always good. Slime sword's a bit of a pain, but we're not really taking too much damage. Hmm. Let's just try that for right now, we'll get the water jet. That'll be better than nothing. Come on, ready? Boom. Oh my. Okay, so we got some interesting stuff going on with this one. I'm thinking we could do Brain Freeze, and then we could do Creeping Cold. Obviously, it's not gonna do a ton of damage, but at least gets to the chain so we can do the electric damage. There we go, nice. Okay, that's working a bit better. Oh, now the poison's doing some stuff. Or is it poison? Yeah, they're poisoned. That's from the Tinker. And then we can do that. Okay, this actually might work pretty well. I'm pretty sure it will. This might get both of them. Nice. Oh, it will. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it didn't hit him. That sort of sinks. Come on. Oh, there we go. He took the poison damage. We got it. Very close to level 18 for Copernica and Galio. I like to see that. Okay, so the weird thing, if I go back up here, I'm back here again. Isn't that weird? Um, What's this way? We're back here again. Well, that actually makes me curious. If I go back another time, I never, no, 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 okay, sorry. I'm getting a little mixed up. <laughs> this is super weird. Did I ever go down here? I guess I did. So the only one way to go now is the left, and then I'm here. So if I go down this way, it brings me to a new spot, which is, okay, now I'm really confused. <laughs> Hold on, I guess I'm here now. Uh, we got a, a thousand gold pieces. That's way more exciting than a hundred. Okay, I'm back here now. Sort of what I was trying to figure out. So if I go through here, that sends me back. If I go to the right, that sends me back. So there's only one way to go from here and that's down. And then when I go down and I go up, that's when I find the secret. So if I go down and up and then right, I'm back here again. Okay, this is what I'm trying to find out. So I need to try the left now, and we got a slime. So what's downwards? So if I go down and then down again, I'm back. Okay, that's why I'm just trying to do every possible angle, so what I gotta do is go through there, go to the left, and slice this guy, see how you like it. It's gonna be more of these guys, okay. Um. Hmm. I think we'll cycle through that. Let's definitely try and intercept. Something like that might be good. Got it. Nice, okay, they flinched. That's good, that means they can't make a move this turn. That guy's gonna heal himself, but that's fine. Not that big of a deal. Oh, got that chain already. Land the poison on him, give him a punch. Shield up Copernica. There we go, looking pretty good. But now she's paralyzed already. Yikes, I'm not used to our characters being on the right. I'm sort of getting used to that. Well, let's do Fixer and then Tinker and then Mend on Copernica for sure. And we're gonna be able to get another combo there, which is actually really nice. And then let's Mend you. There we go, basically back of the full. And she, she's still paralyzed, unfortunately. It doesn't undo what she has on her. Okay, could I get one more, there we go. That should maybe get rid of this guy. I don't know, maybe not that much. Oh, but quite a lot, that's gonna get rid of him. Very cool. So hyper evade for you, you're gonna land some sludge on Galio. Okay, so she's back at it now. Actually, let's do focus, because it ups our magical abilities. And then we can do something like that and chain it up. And that should be pretty good. And then next turn we can do even more Copernica stuff and that might work out even better. There we go, paralyzed you. I think we paralyzed both of them. 
Nice, okay. This is where interesting th stuff can happen. If we could do creeping cold, actually no, cold feet, and then two creeping colds. That's gonna work really nicely. Okay, cold feet, make them both uh, weaker to frost. Nice, look at that. Oh, and that's enough to get rid of that guy. You healed yourself, but healing isn't as big of a scare. So now we wanna do bravado and then all in. Here we go, this guy's done for, he has to be. All in, 280, hit for the Lionheart, he's not done yet then. Oh, he paralyzed so he couldn't move there. Okay, we're almost finished with him then. Uh, we'll do that. Like obviously, I won't be the craziest thing, but I might beat him up. Oh, almost! He's just healing himself over and over again now, so that's sort of a bit of a pain. We'll try that. It should work. Oh, so close, come on. You just gotta hit him down one more time. Maybe I could get a better selection of stuff here. That'd be great if I could. Uh, I guess we'll just do that. Maybe we'll do Arcane Detective. It's just like he's almost down, we're just gonna get him. There we go. <laughs> All right, and we beat him up. Very good experience there. So we have a couple of places we can poke around. First, we can go up, and we found a save point. So I'm gonna save for now, but then continue to explore. Because there might be some stuff in the other directions. So yeah, go through this way, and this is where we went up. So if we go down, now we're back here. That's fine. You're just trying to make extra, extra sure. And then if we go to the far left, we're back here again. Okay, so we've found every possible route so far, as far as I can tell. So now we can go back up this way without worrying about having to backtrack, and I can just save and heal, all that kind of stuff. Hmm, what's happening now? Whoa! That must undoubtedly be the Jimmy Root. How wonder wondrous and whimsical nature can be. All right, Fascination heals all allies by 50% magic and grants them regeneration for three turns. That's a good move. I like that one. All right, we get the key, or the Jimmy Root. Uh, nature is truly amazing if you look at it through the sober light of alchemy. This thing, however, is cultivated by druids, so there's probably some unorthodox ritual or other mumbo jumbo involved. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if the woods themselves have somehow been affected by this thing. So, we're not gonna use it? Of course we are, we're not building a catapult. <laughs> oh, looked a little disappointed. That was it then, okay. Oh, maybe not, we're going back. Uh-oh. What is that? Did you hear that? Uh-oh. This seems problematic. Something's moving in the trees. Huh, all I hear is rustling leaves. Look out! Oh no. What in the world? It's like a king slime or a queen slime or something. Slime king. <laughs> okay, hey buddy, how are you? Let's do, actually let's put this, oh, should I put this over? I mean, I could actually just do this. See how that goes. That way we can actually put some like negative effects on them right away. Also, I should probably pause and see what weaknesses they might have. But the, now they're uh, they have 7,000 health. Okay, they're splitting up into friends. Okay, um, let's take a look at this. First off, you guys are strong against frozen, weak against electricity. And you are just about this. So if we lose, you might wanna change Copernicus deck to be a little bit more lightning focused. Hopefully we don't lose. Um, Hmm. Not exactly how I wanted that to go. <laughs> uh, for now, I will shield probably Copernica. And I think just keep going for the Slime King. We'll have to see if that's a good idea or not. But he's probably just gonna spawn in more Slime friends as soon as we get rid of these ones. So I don't know if it's worth it. It should just be maybe better to focus all of our energy on Slime King. Okay, this is a bit more interesting. Uh, Cause we can barrier you, and then we could do brain freeze just to slow them down a little bit. And we'll be able to do a thunder wave and that's you know something that is extra effective against him. So let's try it out. Nice, not too bad. 
and we're just sort of attacking them and damaging them down just sort of by happenstance now. And obviously it's landing more damage on us, but it's like, they're gonna do that anyways, so here we go. That's what I was waiting for is cold feet, and then we can do creeping cold, creeping cold, and obviously it's not gonna do as much damage, but it'll still do damage, so like it's worth doing, and this will bounce to their, their friends, so that's always good. And there we go, they're gone. So you're already at 5,800, so we've already done 1,200 damage to you, so we still have a lot more to go. And see, they immediately make more. So like, there's not really too much of a worth to focus on them in that way. Let's do that, because now we got a chain, and hopefully that water jet actually goes in the Slime King. It does, nice. Because we really haven't taken too much damage yet, and the regeneration will help with more of it. There we go. Okay, now we got some interesting stuff. I wanna cycle through Bravado. Here we go. I'm gonna cycle through that. Not exactly what I wanted. Now let's do Intercept. Actually, yeah, let's do Intercept, and then All In. And that'll be a chain, so it should be pretty good still. Let's see how much damage this does. 349, not bad, and we get Lionheart in there. So you're just about at 5,000. We've done 2,000 damage worth to you, and we're still in pretty good straights here. Um. I'm thinking we'll shield Caperna again. I want to do Tinkerer. Now we're gonna be able to get more negative effects on more guys here, so that's good. If we can get these, you know, little friends of the, the Slime Kings just to be like paralyzed or something, now they just got attacked down. It just means that they're just sort of burning up more time on the field where other, you know, slimes could be attacking us, so. Oh, but Copernicus really taking some damage now, so we need to change that if we get the chance. It doesn't look like we have the chance right now, but we can at least Brave Buster and burn down your health a little bit more. 85. 86, 261, and 80, not bad. Got you down to under 4,000. Not good. Okay, but we're still regenerating, which is nice. Let's do the, yeah, okay, here we go. Hold on, put that on yourself, put this one on you, because it looks like our Millie's keeping nice and healed without a problem. Whoa, that was a lot of shield. Yeah, because this, the shield's boosted, I forgot about that. Oh, it's such a good move now. Super duper good. So that person's paralyzed, which is sort of what we wanted. Now I can do this. Very good, very good. Come on. Get the cold feet out there. Do the creeping cold. Nice. Do a thunder wave, maybe paralyze the king. Not quite. Oh boy. So heal it up a little bit there, but I think it'll be fine. Because now we can do this and then maybe I could cycle through Keeping Cold this time, and that, and that. There it is, okay. Just had to get one more melee move, we finally figured it out. Not bad. You need to 3,724. Our melee not looking, our, our Copernica not looking so good now though. Let's poison you, we'll get a shield up on her and we'll mend her as well. That'll make enough of a chain so that we can do water jet. Come on, we are, Slowly but surely making our way through all this. He's gotta keep at it. Okay, not bad. So we could actually do cold feet, and then creeping cold, creeping cold. Really stack up the frozen damage while they're weak to it. There we go. Even if they resist it, it's still like a lot of damage per hit. And we can do Thunder Wave, which they actually are weak to. And like, I feel like that's overall still a good combo even with the weaknesses in place and the strengths in place. Okay. Um, do that a little bit. Come on, you're getting lower and lower. Down to 2,243 now. But now Galio is taking a beating. So I think we could do a whole new set as that. There we go, got the chain going on and everything, so that should be a lot of shield. It really is, it's like twice as much shield. That's a big deal. I really like upgrading cards. I feel like I need to upgrade cards more than I need to craft them. Looks like a must have card pops up. Okay. Um, I think we can do that. We can do, let's refresh this one. Okay, we'll do shields and then we'll do all in with what we have. I don't think it'll be that bad. This should do 404 damage apparently, 431, not bad. I'll gladly take it. So things are getting a little scarier here, but still very survivable. Come on now, what do we gotta do? 
Uh, maybe not that then. Let's refresh Bravado. Not exactly what I was hoping for. I might just have to go with that. Yeah, and just finish the turn. It's not perfect, that's for sure. But, two of them get poisoned and he, okay. Slime King gets like physical damage uh, defense reduced. So, might be a good time for something like this. Um, I'm gonna stick out of the cold stuff for now. All right, well, a lot of heroic strikes won't be that bad of an idea. Then we can do all in later and earn up a lot of gears for it. For right now, we'll get Lionheart too. We're doing lots of damage because you're weak to it. Man, oh man, that was good. Even if you heal yourself. If that can go on for another turn, we'll be good. I don't know if it will. Okay, well in the meantime, I could poison you and then we gotta do regeneration. Because I really need to heal up. Not everybody's doing all too well here. There we go, come on, it's just you're so low but you're really fighting it. Oh no, this might be the end for Copernica. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. Galio's not doing so well either. This is where we need to get it done. So I'm thinking Bravado, Brave Buster, all in. We'll see how much that does. It's not gonna do the actual extra physical damage, but that should be okay. You're at 900 now, you're at 828. Like it's slowly getting there. Okay. So I'll recycle that and this. I wish I could get a boss fight done without everybody getting knocked out. And then we could do Mend on yourself, but I feel like Intercept is better right now, because we're so close to defeating you. I just need a little bit more oomph. There we go, you flinched! That makes it a lot better. Okay, come on, just a couple more hits. No, the poison finished you off! That's amazing! I think it was poison, I don't know. <laughs> but we got some extra stats there. That's gonna level up for all three of these guys, and we have over 2,000 gold in total now. Very nice. I told you the woods would have been affected. Nah, a ton of slime falling from the sky could have happened anywhere. I suppose it could have. What's going on now? Are we done with the chapter? I don't know, but we do have the key to get into the the college. Look at that. Remarkable. It did what it was supposed to do. All right, let's head for the main building. All right, off we go into the main building of the college, which I think we'll be doing in the next chapter. Looks like it, chapter complete, chapter seven at the college gate. Having resorted to unorthodox ways to open the college gate, our gang enters the academic grounds in search of knowledge. Very cool, and we got 100% of the rewards there, which is super duper awesome. I'm so glad with that. I love these chapters being sort of short, short and sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm having a great time through this. Hopefully you guys are too, but that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Steam World Quest. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Slime, Sony, you've watched at the end of the year, a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing and doing the Zebra. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.